The Duo 14 Premium is a fully functional 2-bit computer with 48 bits of ROM and 14 bits of RAM. The computer is able to store 8 commands, each of which is stored in the ROM shown in this board right here. The program is entered by toggling the switches, and when the computer is turned on, the computer will execute the program. All of the steps of the computer are governed by the processor clock right here, which controls the timing and the order of the steps which the computer executes. The processor clock is equipped with two modes, a slow mode and a fast mode. When the computer is turned on, you can either run it in the slow mode, in which you hear the relays clicking slower, this is useful for debugging purposes, or if it is rewired, then it can be switched to fast mode, in which the computer runs at full speed, at about two commands per second. The three green LEDs here show the address of the current command being executed in binary. When the computer is turned on, you'll see that the lights turn on in a binary sequence from 0 to 7 and then back again. You may have seen this in my previous video where it shows just the counter running. back to zero again. The computer tells the ROM which address it would like to access, and then the ROM in turn will output a command, and the command is parsed by the command parser which is shown in this lower group of relays here. The command parser will find out what exactly the command should do, and the computer can execute one of three commands. It can either write data, copy data, or go to another command. It can also use these uh, relays here to compare two values, and it can conditionally inhibit a command if it needs to. In addition to the six bits of RAM used to count up from 0 to 7, the computer has eight bits of RAM here, which are used to store input-output data and Boolean registers. Um, and this center row of relays here is used to write and clear these bits of RAM. The board here contains the input and output bits, which can be altered by the user by using these buttons down here. So if I want to write the value of 1, I can do that, and I can write the value of 3, and I can clear this first crumb. A crumb is 2 bits and I can do the same thing with the other crumb. And in this fashion you can give the program input as it is needed. I have programmed eight write commands into the computer's ROM, and when I turn on the computer it will execute these write commands in a consecutive sequence. And I have programmed them in such a way that it will make an attractive light pattern. As you saw, it wrote to uh, the two output crumbs, and um, it would first turn on the four lights in order, and then turn off the four lights, and then it would repeat the sequence again, since there are only eight commands. And once it reaches the last command, it goes back to the beginning. I have now programmed the ROM to copy data from one place to another over and over again. When I turn on the computer, I'm going to put it in fast mode first. If I enter one crumb here, the computer will copy it to the second crumb, as you can see. The program I just showed you actually has two commands. And the first one is a copy command, the second one is a go to command. The go to command tells the computer to go to the first command again, which is the copy command. And so the cycle repeats over and over again. I can show you how the go to command alters the ROM address uh, by setting it back to zero. 
the computer is in the slow mode this time. And as you can see, it's at address 1 right now. And when it went to the second address, it went back to 0 again. And it will keep doing this over and over again. These two crumbs up here are called Boolean registers. I have currently reprogrammed the ROM so that it first writes to one Boolean register, then writes to one output, then writes to the other Boolean register, then writes to the other output. Currently, the commands which write to the output are not conditional. However, if I reprogram the ROM by switching these switches here, like so, now the two, con two commands that write to the outputs are conditional. And what this means is when they are executed, before they are executed, the computer will look at the two Boolean crumbs and if they are equal, then the command will be executed. However, if they are not equal, the command is ignored. I'll run the program slowly so that you can see how this works. <clears throat> so the program wrote to the first Boolean register. Now the two crumbs are unequal. They are not the same. So if I keep running, you heard it uh, give a little pause in between, which means it ignored that command because it was a conditional command and these two are not the same. However, if we continue, the third command writes to the other Boolean register. You'll notice that they're the same now. And when we execute the last command, which is a conditional command, that command was not ignored and it wrote to the other set of lights here. And that's an example of a conditional program.